Typically, I don't play the West Solo Cash Cup, but this week I did so good on NAE that I just wanted to keep it going on the West servers. Boy, I'm glad I did because we placed so well and honestly could have made money. I believe I was top 100 throughout this entire tournament, so lots of stacked lobbies and exciting end games. If you guys didn't see the East highlights and all the tips I threw out in that video, it's on my main channel, Jivin TV. But first, let's check out these West highlights. Before we hop into it, please consider using code Jivin TV if you've been liking the content recently and without further ado let's get into these highlights i just want to say i didn't key first game even though i probably should have but oh well i'll be back with tips in a bit I can't move. Yo, chat, do I win this? <laughs> do I win this, chat? I think I win this. We're playing Storm, baby. We're playing Storm. Oh, wait, I lost? Honestly, bro, I have no idea what happened there. I don't know if it was server lag or someone in the game was hacking or if I just lagged out, no idea. The thing is my stream didn't lag at all. So that was just bizarre, but we kept the vibes high and moved on to the next. Jeez, die.
So that game I played really well, but dude, if I would have gone back into my old builds that were on high ground instead of dropping underneath the bridge, I probably would have won that game. On top of that, I was taking storm ticks that I did not need to be taking so I could have saved more of my chug cannon. Still a nuts game though, let's go. This was another really really good game, but there are some key things to note. I got a kill earlier on and just left the loot, but I saw another kid there so I just left the loot. But it seemed like the other guy was pretty shambles so I probably should have stayed on that loot a little longer, looked for that other kill, and then I would have had a 2 player refresh going into late game. On top of that, going for that last refresh on the guy with the chug cannon and storm was just greedy. I had everything I needed to win the game, but going for that refresh got me killed.
All right, so I don't even want to talk about this game. I thought the zone was pulling this way and I miscalculated everything. We're just gonna move on to the next game. Let's just all forget that last minute of our lives and move on. What? Where's zone? Frick, dude. Right there was just another greedy situation. I did not need to edit on that kid, but if I would have set up a better peak as well, I might have been able to win that fight. Overall, I didn't need it because I still had 500 mats, but we keep our head up and move on to the next. Still in the top 100, so that's pretty fire, especially since I really don't play on West. Hello? I'm dead.
Can't get in, bruh. It's too bouncy. Too bouncy out here, bruh. So in that last game, I learned a valuable lesson. Something I never really thought about before. Doing a storm play with a medkit really doesn't work if you're in a mountain zone because it's way harder to catch up with the safe zone when you're in a mountain zone. If I were able to build up to high ground first and then do a medkit play, it might work better. But when you're on low ground and you do a medkit play, you're gonna get stuck down there, which I learned the hard way in that situation. Holy lag. This last game, I had no movement and zone kept pulling all the way across the map, the worst zone pulls ever, time after time. It was definitely a rough last game, but still dude, this was a fire tournament. I played so much higher than I thought I would, and I'm so glad I played it. Once again, I just want to say the East highlights are on my main channel, Jivin TV, along with some big tips to help you out in solo cash cups. Thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, sub if you're new. Use code JIVINTV in the Fortnite item shop and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.